Hello everyone, this is Stephanie in The Secret Place. Thanks for coming. I have an oldie but goodie for you today. Just a little short word from Parker Palmer's To Know As We Are Known. I can never get too far away from this book and if you haven't read it, you must. I hope that you've read it by now. Um, what I would like to share with you is um, a short passage here on page 124. And I'm in the, on a roll talking about healing and and freedom, inner freedom, um, being freed from our delusions about ourselves. Let me read it to you and you see what you think. Listen. The freeing and healing discipline of solitude requires that we simply stay with it, confronting ourselves with patience, bearing the pain that comes as we withdraw our projections from the world and find their source in ourselves. As we do so, solitude eventually offers a quiet gift of grace, a gift of acceptance, a gift of compassion for who we are as we are. As we allow ourselves to be known in solitude, we discover that we are known by love. Beyond the pain of self-discovery, there is a love that does not condemn us, but calls us to itself. This love receives us as we are. It creates space in which we can let go of our self-delusions and allow ourselves to be transformed by truth. As we do so, we are better able to create a space to receive the world as it is, a space in which obedience to truth can be practiced. Can you let that sink in just for a few minutes? Oh my. As we allow ourselves to be known in solitude, we discover that we are known by love. That's a hard one, isn't it? We all want to be loved. And we've talked about this before in The Secret Place, but I never mind repeating some things because I know I need to hear them again. If you are a diligent person, if you are one who really wants to follow the truth, wants to follow God and know him closely through Jesus Christ, and yet you look at your own and you've like turned inward to, to look at your own heart or your own motivations and examine them. It's important to do that. If you've done that and you see corruption or shadows or kind of things sticking out from the good that are not good, you know, it's hard to see ourselves as loved because we, we've grown up in a world where our behavior and our well-being in the world, um, our sense of self comes from most of us. Did you do well? Did you obey your parents? You know, were you a good little boy? Were you a good little girl? What did you do as a teenager? And so we're always looking at our behavior and determining our self-worth by that. And besides the fact that I think we need to examine our behavior and confess our sin when we do, I think there's a little bit too much of self-loathing that goes on in so many of us because we don't know that what confronts us in the quiet is love. It's not demonic. It's not darkness. It's not hate. It's not evil. It's love. It's the love of God. He is there. He is there, my friends, waiting to not confront you, but meet you and greet you with love. You know, if you had a wonderful father or a wonderful mother on this earth, and they are full of non-judgment and affection and love, and that's how you feel safe and warm when you're near them, I thank God for that because many people don't. But if you've had that, then maybe picture God as your father. Perfect, though, giving you the perfect love and space to be known, to know him and be known. If you haven't had that experience, as many of us have not for a variety of reasons, because we live in an imperfect world, just go to the Lord and, and say, Father, reveal yourself to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal all this love that Stephanie is talking about or that I'm reading about in the Bible or that that person is talking to me about. Reveal it to me. Help me to know this love. Help me to know your love. 
You know, he is the author of love. And I know our creator just longs to show you that love. It's like his heart is so longing to show you the love that you need that he has for you. You know, I want to say, don't be afraid of the dark. Speaking to the little child inside of you, don't be afraid of the dark. Take the Lord in it with you. And don't forget, bless you. This is Stephanie in the secret place. Have a good day.